Good morning. Happy Friday. Happy last Friday of October. I can't believe it. As you can see, I have cleaned out my advent calendars from last year. I have put them on my bed here, or my chaise lounge here, and I'll flip it around in a second for you to see it. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with it, and I think what I'm going to do is do a habitation throw with it. I've put the, the yarn kind of in the order that it arrives. So I'm just going to flip it over and show you. So here we have it. As you can see, there's a lot of pink in here. I'm not a pink person. It's probably my least favorite color next to like fuchsia. But I like the pops of color that pink gives you in the habitation throw. So I'm not too fussed about that. And they're spread out. Uh, so they're not going to be, because I'll be going doot, 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 like that. <laughs> and the other thing I was thinking too is maybe going like one and then this one and then this one. And then like kind of doing it like that and then going back and taking like the ones next to it i may do that just to break up the color schemes because you can kind of see like these are sort of in the same vein these are in the same vein you know so just to break it up a bit i don't know but then i might like think oh maybe the blend will work nice i'm like waving my nails around not like i was cleaning i should probably see if they're <laughs> dirty Anyway, so that's where we're at. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And these two here, like these two are my favorite. I love these two colors here. I love this one. I love these ones. So you can kind of see like earth tones are really my jam. I also like kind of the burgundies and the blues, you know. So I'm going to take a picture of this in case I end up... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the number on the little advent thingy majiggy label. And then that way, if I do accidentally get them tossed uh, about, I will at least know <laughs> what order they go in. <laughs> very <laughs> it's very bright it is a beautiful sunny freezing cold day here in the maritimes it is 8 18 let's get back from writing let's see if i can set this here Ooh, there it is cold i got my hat on i had my oh what's that called something city cow leftover 
city cow on. I've got my first classic sweater on. I feel like it's far away. <laughs> I'm trying to find it there where we're not getting like too sunny. Uh, so I have my first um, classic sweater on and I, uh, I'm cold. <laughs> Bring the dog in from outside. And then I gotta go find my thick warm socks. And we're gonna come home today, as for most days. <laughs> okay, do we get everything? Do we? We'll come back and get the coffee. Definitely need coffee. I've already had one coffee today, but one coffee is not enough. I was working upstairs in the office yesterday. I had on my White Mountain. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to take my hat off until I'm warm. I had on my White Mountain sweater with like a t-shirt underneath. But this office is cold. I, I just, I find it hard to get warm in here. I'm jacking it up. <laughs> I was freezing all day yesterday. I have all of my new yarns. There, I think I'm pointing at it. I did get some new yarns. My goal is to find projects for all of these. I think that is what's going to be part of my make nine for 2024, 2024. Why <laughs> did that happen? So I think that's what I'm going to do is find projects for those. So I'm kind of starting to percolate <laughs> kind of what I want to do for next year and what I want to accomplish and uh, get done. What better way to start off the snowy season than with some Christmas yarn? I finished dyeing up the Christmas bark. Oh, it turned out so lovely. I'm definitely gonna have to keep a skein for myself. Uh, this colorway got its name from the Christmas bark candy that usually has little pieces of like green and red candy cane going through it with like a chocolate, thin chocolate covering on the top. Oh, I love this. This is my gush base, which is cashmere, merino, and nylon. And uh, these will be up in the shop this weekend. So probably by the time you see this, it will already be in the shop. Bye.
Good morning. It is November 13th. <laughs> it just, I have no idea. Uh, I took Friday off as a vacation day and then I took, or we have today off in lieu of Remembrance Day falling on the weekend. And then I took tomorrow off as well, just to make it an extra long weekend because I have vacation days left to use up. Although one vacation day sh less than I thought I did because apparently the company I work for doesn't recognize Boxing Day as a day off in Nova Scotia because it's not a stat holiday. I have literally never worked for a company that didn't close the office on Boxing Day. In fact, the company I worked for that sold to this company, oftentimes we just shut the whole office down between kind of Christmas and New Year, which was really nice. You didn't have to take your vacation day, but the good old days. So I am sitting here right now watching all of the blue jays and the crows and the juncos popping around eating all the seed that I just put out. And uh, Chuckles is, I can see her. <laughs> She's down here somewhere. So I am going to do some knitting. I've got my errands run. My husband wants to go to supper tonight. So we might, he told me to pick a place. So I'll just try to find a place we haven't been to recently. We were kind of thinking Moxie's and I was like, God, we haven't been to Moxie's for a while. It's close. It's got good food. I can always find something good on their menu. I am going to go on a hunt for Stash Double Bergamot Tea. I looked at the in the grocery store. I couldn't find it anywhere. I love that tea. And since the Lemon Thriller, President's Choice Lemon Thriller, uh, doesn't taste the way that it used to anymore. And it was my favorite tea. I need to find a new favorite tea. Right now what I do is I have um, true lemon, which is like crystallized lemon. And I take that and I take one of the gingins, like the, I don't know how to explain it. It's like real ginger melted down and I don't know, but it's like organic or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I will take it. They come like they're about that big. I will take that with the lemon crystals and I'll just put it in hot water. And as the ginger melts, you get this really tasty lemon ginger tea, which I love. Oh, there's a standoff between the blue jays and the pigeon. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but I really would love to get the double bergamot tea and I have a feeling it may only come out around Christmas time. So I thought, I'm gonna see if I can maybe find it somewhere online. I did, on the weekend, I was watching, I was watching like older vlogmases that I had done. Like, so I was, I was trying to remember when I started and I started back, I think it was 2016. And when I watched them, I was like, oh my God, it's so funny to watch yourself. Like how many years ago, almost nine years ago. That's insane. The one I was looking for, I wanted to watch the ones where we had just brought Scout home uh, because we brought her home in the no on November 26, like four years ago. And I wanted to, uh, I just wanted to watch, see her as a puppy. So I'm gonna go uh, maybe uh, make myself a latte because I picked up some barista oat milk today and have a real good bar and do some knitting because I'm not even to the halfway point of my brother-in-law's blanket. And I put a lot of work in it on the weekend and I'm still not even to the halfway point. Slightly starting to panic. I may have to rethink his gift. I don't know. <laughs> Time is running out. Why do I do this every year? And then every year I say I'm not doing any Christmas presents the next year that are gonna be knit and then I do it anyway. Next year, next year. The only thing I will do is knit socks and I will have to have the socks done by December 1st. And if I don't have the socks done by December 1st, I am not giving knit socks for Christmas. Hold me to that, I swear, hold me to that. <laughs> if you hear me going, 
I think, and it's getting close to the 1st of December, down in the drop box down below, you tell me no, Kelly. No. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I'll check in with you later. Bye. morning. It is November 14th. I am housebound today because my car is in the garage. I, uh, I've got little um, goofball here keeping me company today. My husband is at work today, so I got the place to myself. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I have some ideas. But one thing I noticed yesterday, so I was kind of panicking about not being able to finish the lap blanket that I'm making for my brother-in-law for Christmas. And then I realized something, and I'm not sure the best way to show this. I'm gonna try to do this. So what I realized was when I was trying to like stretch it out to see um, how much further I had to go. And I realized so I was looking at it from like this length. I got the wrong side showing right now, but it's only like this length and I was kind of panicking. And so I thought, well, I'm going to just sort of try to lay it out without dropping anything off the needles, obviously. And then what I realized was that from... <laughs> I'm trying to do this without actually knocking anything off. But basically, what I realized once I get myself <laughs> untangled from it is that from this length, it's actually quite long. And I'm going to please don't, don't fall off the needles. But if you see, like from the what I was thinking was like the bottom, it's about, okay, it's touching the ground right now. So it's about as tall as me, which is more than long enough for a lap blanket. So clearly I was just looking at it from the wrong direction. So all I really need to do is maybe knit, I think what I'll do is I'll knit another brown stripe one more of these, and then I'll end it on a brown. Um, and then it'll be wide enough from this way and long enough from this way. So I was just looking at it like from the wrong perspective. I was looking at it as if this was the, like, width and this really should be looked at as the length <laughs> does that make any sense at all i hope it does in my head <laughs> and i mean normally when you're looking at it i like as a blanket you would probably look at it this way but you know what <laughs> it's gonna be this way <laughs> so 
That being said, all I have to do is, I'm already like about halfway through this stripe, finish this and then knit one of these and one of these and then I'm done. And I can do that probably within like a week or so. Crisis averted. And then I think, I think that's, oh, I do have the fire pit mitts for him, but those will knit up pretty fast. So I think we're good. I think we're good. <laughs> so now that I figured out that I don't actually have to panic about the blanket and I can probably get it done in like a week and a half. What is Christmas if I'm not panicking about getting my <laughs> knitted gifts done on time? These are my morning musings. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like eight o'clock. <laughs> I got up at six and took the dog for a walk. And now I'm on my second cup of coffee. So anyway, I'm going to uh, work a little on the blanket and catch up on some podcasts and I will um, check in with you guys later. Five minute break from work while I get myself another cup of coffee and I had a brilliant idea of kind of using up two sweaters quantity of my stash at the same time to make a DK fingering and fingering our DK my thought was and I'm going to flip the camera around here is to blend um two colors together that I think are going to go together really nicely okay so here's what I'm looking at this is my hypothesis yarn uh, in the Walden colorway. And this is my Ilamani yarn in the gray colorway. But this gray, and I don't know how well it's showing up here. Let's see if I go over here. I don't know if you can tell, but it has some brown. It has brown undertones to it, which goes really nicely with the brown in here. So this is what I'm looking at. And this is, yeah, this definitely is showing up more gray on the, um, what's this thing called? <laughs> the camera. <laughs> but it's, it definitely has the brown undertones and it's going to mesh with this really well. So I am going to, I think, this is going to be the next cast on. And I'm going to do up a swatch and then just kind of get my gauge with it or see what the gauge is and then I'll match it to a sweater pattern. Okay, refueled the dog. <laughs> the dog's being so weird today. There were some uh, of the clips on this uh, vlog, by the way, that are really blown out by the sun. <laughs> Clearly have a lot of windows in the house. Uh, but anyway, I got to get back to work 
and I'm going to close the November vlog off today, which, uh, what is today? The 22nd. So I will, oh, look who, look who's made an appearance. Say hello. Say hello. So I'm going to close off the November vlog here. I got to get back to work and I will get this uh, uploaded and edited and hopefully get it up this weekend. What's today? Wednesday? Yeah, that's doable. Anyway, so I will see you guys in Vlogmas 2023. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Don't forget about the D-Stash I got going on in Ravelry uh, if you're looking for some uh, cheap yarns. <laughs> <laughs> there are some sweater quantities there. So let me know or just go over and check there and uh, shoot me a message on um, Ravelry if you're interested in any of those. And that is about it. Uh, there's also a little bit of a little bit of Christmas bark left. I think there's five skeins left in the shop if anybody's interested. So pop on over to my Etsy shop. The links are all below on everything in the little drop down. Hit more. It's all there. So happy November, everybody, and I will see you for Vlogmas. Bye.